This is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. All right, welcome back to week 13 of Sip the Talent Presents Ravens Roundup. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about gap integrity. Um, Raheem, or whatever his name is, Mo Mozart or whatever, that played for San Francisco, he had like 120, 140 yards, something like that. But he got most of those yards on four carries. He had a carry of, uh, let me see. 40, 19, 16, 18. That's 93 yards. So basically, uh, 70 to 75% of his, his yardage came in fourth run plays. So we're going to talk about gap integrity and how we didn't have gap integrity early in the game, but how they fixed it later on in the game and, and, and kind of shut him down and slowed him down, which allowed us to win the game. So welcome back to week 13, and let's get right into it. First play is a 40-yard touchdown. And again, the topic of this is gap integrity. And I'm going to let the, as always, let the wide view play. And then we'll talk about it from the back view. That's a lot of missed tackles up in there. But we'll get in there and see, you know, assignments and who had what and whatnot. All right, so here we go. They're in, let's see what personnel they're in. They're in 21 personnel, which means it's two backs and a tight end. Here's your two backs. Here's your tight end. Two receivers outside. So when anytime, you, anytime you hear a personnel grouping, for those that don't know, they never say the number of the receiver. So if, it, if it's 10 personnel, that's uh, one running back and no tight end. If it's 12, that's uh, one running back, two tight ends. If it's 21, it's two running backs, one tight end. The receiver is never a part of the number. That's the unwritten number because it has to equal to, uh, you can only have five. So it's going to be, you figure it out. <laughs> but 10 is, is spread for the most part. But this is 21. Two, two running backs and tight end. All right, so we got um, we got a nose, a four, a four eye ish, or three. Now it's a three, and then we got these guys kind of a seven on the tight end. All right, let's play it and see what happens. All right, ball snapped. This play is kind of over with right now. The fullback going to go back over here and kind of keep Judah on that base so he can chase it down. So he's not really a factor. But I'm going to tell you why this play is over with. Because uh, Ferguson, who has to set the edge, is already hooked by Kittle. Already. Even before I even play a little more, Kittle has the leverage on him right here to turn him out. All right. This guy right here, which is, uh, is this Peko? He's going to get hooked right here and kind of turn, and it's going to prevent an alley. So what's going to happen is 59, they're going to double Ferguson. Kittle going to have the outside leverage. And his eye is going to go to 58, which is Fort. Fort's going to, well, let me just let it play. I right, see his eyes looking for 58 because he, he has this edge sealed. He has him sealed. 58, which is Fort decides to go in here and take it. This guy going to come all the way off this block and kick Fort out. Boom. Now look what you got. Hat on a hat, hat on a hat. Now, this dude right here is free, which we all know what happened, and we complained about it, I complained about it. Look at this alley. Kittle is whooping Ferguson's butt. He's getting off the block, but that's too much space for a D-line to try to tackle a running back with a full head of steam. He's basically going to run through this arm tackle. All right, now Peters. You got him boxed in. You got him boxed in. Just take his legs out. Get close enough to him and take his legs out. Don't just stand there and wait. You got to close the space. Close the space. And he didn't. Still for him. Touchdown. And it's going back to gap integrity. We don't have it right here. We got two people in the same gap. Got two people in the same gap. Got two people in the same gap back here. But it don't really matter because the play is going. Got to have somebody in each gap. We got two people in the same gap, which means they're going to screw it out if they hit it right. And they hit it right. Especially since Kittle. Watch how far Kittle moved the edge. The edge is inside the hedge right now. Watch how far Kittle's going to move the edge. To the numbers. He took the edge from inside the hash, right here where my arrow is, to outside the numbers. That, that's awesome by Kittle. Got to do a better job of setting the edge. Whoever it is, Ferguson or whoever the edge guy, whoever the edge player is. Next play. 
This is the run of 19 yards. Now, these first three runs are not successive plays, but they're his successive carries. So he had that run of 40. Now he's going to have a run of 19. Same type play, outside zone. Gashing. Gashing us. Let's check the personnel first. All right, they're in. This is a receiver, so we don't count him. They're in 11 personnel. One running back, one tight end, and this is a receiver that they got bunched or got tight. So now, what we have, do we have, we have the two outside linebackers. We have no middle linebackers in the game. None. We got Earl playing at linebacker. You got Humphreys here, and you got Clark. I can't tell who this is. We have no linebackers in the game. No middle line, no inside linebackers in the game. They run the outside zone again. These three guys take care of these three guys. The center hooks him, and that's all she wrote right there. When the center make, when the center gets this hook, and he gonna take care of Humphreys coming backside. He's hooked here. You know it's not an issue. Watch the hole. Look at that. Cause of that hook, that kick out. Now he back on. He up on Earl. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy. So who has front side A? That's the question. Who has front side A? Front side A gap. For those who know what I'm talking about, who has front side A gap? Unless he trying to two gap. And I don't think he kind of two gap because he he slanted in this other direction. So it, does Earl have front side A, or or C two gap? That's the question we don't know. We don't know if Earl's responsible for this gap or he's responsible for this gap. We don't know. But whoever ha whatever happens or whoever has the gap, he got hooked, which created a massive hole because he didn't ran him wide. Give him the hole. Let it open. Let it open. I can get you four five yards on that. No, no middle linebacker. Let me, I mean, no inside linebacker. Where are they? What's the down and distance on this play? Maybe I, let me see what that is. See if I can go back to that. What's the down and distance? Do I have it on here? I don't. So I don't know why. We all know why we don't have inside linebackers. Are they all hurt or what? But you can't expect Earl to get off the block of a, a lineman. We can't, we can't keep doing that. But anyway, let's move on to the next play. All right, this is a carry of 16 yards. Again, these are three straight carries by him. 11 personnel again. All right, side zone, just a different look. Outside zone, just a different look. So now we got, let's see what we got personnel-wise. Still don't have an inside linebacker in here. Got a nose, uh, two threes. Judon standing up, kind of in the place of an inside linebacker. Clark's an outside linebacker. Bowser's an outside linebacker. Carr, Earl. Still no inside linebacker. So I, I don't know why. I don't want to speculate, but to me that's crazy because you got tight end, running back, 11 personnel. Outside zone. Immediately gets a hook there. He gets him turned. Now, if he gets a hook right here, it's, it's a wrap. If he turns on Ferguson, it's a wrap. Because he's going to come off and block Judon without me even seeing this. He's going to run him out. He's going to climb up the car. Then they're going to have an alley. He missed. Now, right, look at this lineman coming up the car. That's simple football. Oh, we got a, and we got a crack. I missed the crack. And you got a crack by the, the, the – watch the receiver come in and crack. So you got two guys on car. Oh, easy. Simple. Simple. Now, outside zone, one of my favorite plays if the old lineman understand the concept. But, again, let's talk about the gap integrity part of it. Who, who has these gaps? That's Somebody got to be in these gaps. Somebody. 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 It's crazy. But football is a game of adjustments. It's a game of adjustment. They found something that kept going to it until we adjust it. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. 
So go on over to patreon.com backslash zip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash zip to tally. Now, this is later on in the game. This is a play of 18. Same type play, outside zone. We diving around, not driving our feet, just diving at ankles and calves and thighs. Now, let's see the personnel. Okay, now we got some backers in here. We got Peanut and um, that's not Fort. That's, uh, I forget this kid name. I forget his name. It, it escapes me right now. But we got Peanut. We got 57. We got Bynes. That's his name, Bynes. Peanut and Bynes. And we got Judon. And they are, they're in 21 personnel. You got your fullback, tailback. That's two running backs. Tight end right there. Kittle in motion. Let's see. We got a one, a three, a four, and a seven. Okay. Those are techniques. Peanut comes to the line. So with Peanut coming to the line, 75 has to cut him off. 58 is going to try to go there. They're going to try to double up to Bynes coming here. Kittle's going to work on Judon or whoever this was by himself. Got a good turn. See, here's our gap that's not, nobody's in it. It's right here. It's coming. You can see it coming right now. He's going to hit it right now. Full head of steam. He hits the gap so hard that Bynes don't have a chance to scrape over the top. See, this, nobody's in this gap right now. Nobody. So I don't know if 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 he's wrong or he's guessing or what. But somebody got to be in this gap. Somebody this is belong this gap belongs to somebody. And just so you know, this video is sponsored by the word gap, because I keep saying it. Not the store. But again, gassed, because we don't have gap integrity. All right, now, later on, we finally decided to make some changes and do some things different. Or just play a little better. One of the two. All right, let's check it out. They only got like one yard on that. So in 21, 21 personnel again, Kittle coming in motion. Same outside zone play. You can tell by the steps. Look at all these steps. Look the same. That, that's good for, for them. Now, what we got? Let's see what we got defensively. We got a nose. We got a three. We got a three. We got a seven. Seven over here. Got a linebacker here, uh, another linebacker here, and this is Carr, I think, playing some kind of safety. So now we kind of, they got one, two, three, four over here. We got one, two, three, four over here. They got one, two, three backside. We got one, two, three backside. So we kind of evening up numbers wise. All right. Somebody should have an edge. I'm assuming this guy right here. Uh, we got a guy for this gap. Got a guy for this gap. Got a guy for that gap, which is this linebacker right here. All right. Look how they playing flat. Look how they playing flat. Everybody's, look at that. Gap, 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 gap. And he got that. Look at that. Gap sound. Gap sound. What a difference doing your assignment makes. No comment. <laughs> no comment. This is the fourth quarter. We got better at it. Finally made the adjustment. Put some linebackers in the game. Nah, negative play. Look at that. After giving up 93 yards on four plays, we down to getting one yard gains and negative gains. Look at that. Let's, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go back. Let's see what they got. They got, uh, uh, uh. I got two tight ends in there. So they got, what's this? Uh, 12 personnel. One running back, two tight ends. Basically, they overloading to this side. So, let's count them up. They got one, two, three, four on this side of the ball. We got one, two, three, four on this side of the ball. Over here, they got two. We got one, two, three. So, my interpretation of this is Ward has this gap. Uh, he has this gap. Peanut has this this backside A. Uh, got A gap here. Uh, 93 has this one. Pines has this one. And Bowser has the edge. So, we still missing the gap, really. And I'm hoping Clark has this. This gap right here, I'm hoping, because he's the only one that's even on that side of the field. He's going to probably have to come down hard on that. All right, they notice outside run is, has been coming, has been coming. So the good part of it, Peanut and Bynes going right now. The bad part of it, if this was some kind of count or something, we'd be screwed. 
All right, he marries, he lo falls in love with this double team, this tight end right here, which is something you can't do. You can't fall in love with the double team. You can't. He turned his shoulders and everything, and when he turned his shoulders, running back just, I mean, the linebacker just going to feel it. Bynes is going to feel it. When he turned his shoulder, Bynes filled it. Too late now. Too late, buddy. Too late for you. Boom. Right there. Tackle for loss. Now, where was this early in the game? I do not know. But the fact that they went in, looked at the, uh, the surfaces or, or whatever they got on the sideline and made corrections and put some linebackers in the game, uh, kind of stopped, slowed them down at the end of the game because this kid could really could have run for 200 yards if we not made these corrections. This is um, week 13. Gap integrity is the, the topic of this uh, video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If this is your first time here. Um, we got the 2,500 today. Got the 2,500 subs today. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's roll to 3,000 and you know, hopefully that'll come soon. And this again, this is Coach Evans and some Sip the Tally Films and I'm out.